I'm Bob Hallmark in Big Sandy today. I'm at Big Sandy City Hall, but we're not talking about uh, city business here. We're talking about something that's very important to all small communities across East Texas, volunteer fire departments. Now, the reason I bring that up is the face of volunteer fire departments is beginning to change. It's looking older now, and that's for a reason, because young people are not volunteering for volunteer fire departments, and that's something that we want to talk about today. Uh, with many departments, particularly smaller ones, they may only have a handful of firefighters that they depend on to make calls every time. And that's why there is a need now to see if we can get some young people civically minded. And to talk a little bit about this, we're joined now by uh, Big Sandy Mayor Linda Baggett. Uh, Linda, I guess in your assessment, how important is this with a town like Big Sandy, a volunteer fire department? Uh, they're invaluable. We do not have the resources to have a full-blown paid fire department and these guys and women they come on board and they they just perform services that you know normally we wouldn't have uh we can't we can and they help with other departments too mm -hmm. but for our our city we have um uh, about 1300 people in town and uh, it, it's invaluable mm -hmm. that our fire department has some of the latest equipment they are very, very well trained. They are constantly training. Plus, uh, it helps with our homeowners insurance rates to have a volunteer fire department. Mm -hmm. But what they do for us, um, I'm not sure we can actually pay them what they're worth to the community. Right. They, uh, they not only run fire calls, they do swift water uh, rescues. Mm -hmm. um, they have EMTs that are trained and go out so if someone has medical emergencies, wrecks, uh, anything like that. They are just, they are our lifeline. Now one of the things that has been a problem for almost every volunteer fire department in uh, smaller communities is getting volunteers. Now uh, the, as I mentioned, the face of the volunteer fire department has changed. It's gotten older. You see a lot of people that are retired that get into this. And a lot of people that are not, they have some training, but a lot of people do not have any training at all. Now, one of the things that, that can be a problem is the abilities of these older firefighters, which is why we need to have, I guess, some young blood come in. Definitely, we need to have younger people coming in. And it's, it's just, it's not only good for the community, but it's good for those who volunteer also. You know, you've got to find your niche and what you want to do. That's part of the key right there. But yes, we need younger people who come in. All the volunteer fire departments need younger people. And Everybody. Big Sandy Assistant Fire Chief, Keen Kaiser. And uh, Keen, I guess you've seen this, and a lot of departments have, is uh, where you have volunteers, but they seem to be an older generation that is coming yes, forward now. So, um, yeah, I mean, the American Fire Service across the country is struggling with recruitment, even on the career and paid side, um, but definitely volunteers as well. Um, and a lot of the people who do volunteer are, do come from older generations. I believe part of that is um, a cultural thing. Um, mm -hmm. The older generations um, had a, more of a culture of volunteering and kind of the younger generations maybe less so. Um, so it can be challenging sometimes to get those younger members. Um, the fire service is a blue collar trade that is steeped in on the job training. So from the get go, we're going to be equipping you with the knowledge and skills to, uh, to help out on calls. Um, and then fortunately, uh, the Texas Forest Service is a, an amazing resource. It's a state um, agency that actually provides funding to um, allow firefight volunteer firefighters to go get all of the certifications that they need um, for free, um, everything is reimbursed through them. Uh, so if uh, somebody comes in off the street, uh, you can get your firefighter one, your firefighter two, uh, hazmat awareness operations, your uh, EMR or EMT basic training, mm -hmm. um, you know, and wildland certs as well. And, and the state will reimburse us for that. Um, and it's a great career starter. If you're kind of stuck in a job where you don't have a whole lot of skills to like break into a, a, a well-paying career. You know, mm -hmm. going this route is actually a really good opportunity for a lot of young people who can come volunteer, get that training, and then that makes them very hireable uh, when they go to a career department. You've got some rancher that's got everything he's got tied up in the hay barn, mm -hmm. and the hay barn is about to go up. Mm -hmm. 
So, and that, and then you've got pasture and you've got you know, the small the small farms outside and houses inside that, you know, we're, we're pretty close around here and they can pop to jump from one house to the other. And, but you've got our volunteer fire department and they've got an amazing response time. Mm -hmm. um, they're just, they're, we can't live without them. And I know the other communities are in the same same boat mm -hmm. and they just need young folks need to step up they cannot understand how it makes them feel to help somebody mm -hmm. and that's really that what we're talking about here yeah. this is a really a call uh, to civic mindedness and and uh, to uh, volunteerism yes. is even if you don't have any training it'd be great if you did but even if you don't have any training uh, you can help. You can do something for your community. You can, and you, know, you can get training. They mm -hmm. will train you. They will help you. And even if you don't, you know, go out and actually physically fight the fires, somebody has got to be helping behind the scenes also. Okay. So there's, there's so much that they could use. Okay. Yeah. Mayor, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. And we'll have much more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.